Hey guys, KG Games here. Today I'm here with my pickups number three video. Got about 13 games here all together, some pretty cool stuff. A little bit of everything. I would say this, this is probably my best pickups video yet so far. And yeah, let's get to it. So, um, I said on my Black Friday pickups video, I got Mega Man Battle Network Collection, but for some reason it was going to take a few weeks to get here. And I got it now. I don't know what it is about this game, but I don't think Capcom printed a lot of copies of it because I have not seen it anywhere. And Amazon's always 50-50 if they have it in stock or not. And then um, for the Nintendo Switch also, we got Super Mario RPG. Bought that when it came out like a few months ago. All right, and then like, I'd say like two or three weeks ago when I was looking at limited runs page on Amazon because sometimes they have different things on Amazon and plus most of the time it's like already made so like it would be here pretty quickly for limited runs terms and when I saw something I wanted for pre-order it said volume 2 I was like wait what it's already a volume 1 so I went on eBay and immediately looked it up and it was only going for like a little bit above what it originally went for so I bought it and that's the Neo Geo Pocket Color Collection Volume 1 how big that box is and look at that artwork very 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 nice artwork and yeah it has 10 games from neo geo pocket color and yeah just as you imagine there's a big art book and a steel book even a poster yeah pretty cool might be one of my favorite things in my collection in general to be honest i really like it all right and then i actually bought a ds and a 3ds game lately i normally don't really buy for these systems because it's pretty easy to get the ROM for it. I know, I know. But first up, we got Wreck-It Ralph for the DS. Complete. It was only like five bucks. And it was complete. And it was a game I always wanted when I was a kid because of the movie. It was really good. So I finally got it. Pretty sure the game's not that good, but I got it now. And then we got Epic Mickey for the 3DS. Um... I don't know if this is based on the first game or the second game, but it's just a 2D side scroller. All right, and then next up, this is for the PS5 games. This is a complete GameStop blind buy right here, and it's Fate Samurai. Pretty sure it's a um, action RPG. Apparently, when I looked it up, it's a pretty long-running series called, I guess, the Fate series. And yeah, it looks like I can start with that game, no problem. I don't need to play the other games. And then, next up for the PS5, when I was looking at, I haven't bought from Super Rare games in a while, but when I saw this game, Hell Pie, definitely jumped on it immediately. I remember watching CND live stream it a couple of years ago, and yep, uh, I've done my radar since, and it looks like a limited print company finally got a physical for it. It has like a manual and all that too, because it's from Super Rare. And yeah. All right, the next up for the PS5, let's just get it out right here. It is the six, I mean Street Fighter VI Collector's Edition. Originally went for 250 bucks. I got it for 62 bucks, because I guess GameStop was just really trying to get rid of them, only like a couple of months after release. Um, yeah, it comes up like, a like a couple of statues and like a steel book and um, an art book and what else I feel like I'm missing something a sticker set yep you just gotta have a sticker set um yeah I've been like the original case as well and like a bunch of DLC codes for it yeah it's pretty crazy only getting it for 62 bucks considering at least at the time when I bought it the standard edition went for 60 bucks as well and I got all the DLC as well with it. All right, and now up for the PS4, we got, I didn't know this combo pack existed, Limbo and Inside. I know people really love these games. I never bought them because I would rather get a physical of it. And yeah, I believe these games are only a couple of hours each. And when I open it up, it has like, whatever this is supposed to be, <laughs> some artwork, I guess. And then it has a poster for Inside. I want to assume that there's supposed to be a poster for Limbo too, but I guess the previous owner took it out. But, yep, got this now finally. And then, 
um, like a couple of months ago. Best Buy is doing like their deal of the days or whatever. And they had Gran Turismo 7 for one of them. And I was very stupid when I bought this for the PS4, not the PS5, because I thought right here I didn't read it correctly. That it would include a free PS5 upgrade, but no. Nope. So, yeah, so I had to buy the PS5 upgrade, so I would have bought the PS5 one if I knew that. And I don't know why I bought this physical, because this game is online only, so once the servers get shut down, the disc is completely useless. And then next up for the PS4, we got the Seven Deadly Sins. It is a 3D action 3D game, um, obviously based on the anime, only on PS4 from what it looks like. Alright, then next up we got the Xbox 360 games. First up we got Anarchy Reigns. It looks like a 3D um, fighting game. I forgot where I heard of this game from, but it's very cheap still. <clears throat> Came out very late in the 360 lifespan, like I believe 2013, and never got a port or became backwards compatible, so yeah. And then next we got Fight Night Round 3, Look at them hits. When I was at the store, I was originally going to buy this game for the PS2, but then when I went to the 360 section, they also had it for 360, so I got it for 360 instead. And then we got Rockstar Games Table Tennis, a minty copy. And it, I know this game isn't expensive, but I got it for only two bucks as well. And yep, that's all the 360 games. All right, and then our last game. I know I said in my GameCube collection video, it's been a couple of years since I bought the GameCube, since I bought a GameCube game, but I finally got another one. And I said I was pretty much done collecting for the system as well in that video, but I got Sonic Adventure 2 complete. Yeah, I mean, I got it for a pretty decent price, and I'm not even that big of a Sonic fan, I would say, but I almost have all the Sonic games for the GameCube. I believe all I'm missing is Sonic Gems Collection and Sonic Riders. So if I ever see those two games for the GameCube, I will buy them so I can have a complete Sonic collection on the GameCube, I guess. And yeah, guys, that's all the recent pickups for this video. If you guys like these types of videos, be sure to subscribe and like, and if you guys have had any cool pickups lately, let me know in the comments down below, and yeah, see you guys later.